Hello, this is Movie Reviews by JT, and I got another review for you. Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City. This is a reboot to the Resident Evil film franchise, and it's based on the video game of the same name. And I went to an early screening for this movie tonight, and it was a blast. I had fun watching it. It's one of the best video game movies i ever seen. And the movie stars on um, um, Kyle Scott Delario as Claire Redford. And also stars on um, Robbie Ormel as Chris Redford. It also got um Hannah John Klugman and stuff as um Joe Valentine. And I thought she was badass in this movie and stuff. And the movie set in 1998, the origin story explores the secrets of the mysterious Spencer Mansion and the fatal ill Ra Raccoon City. So when it comes on, you see Claire and um and Chris in a Orphanage and Raccoon City is kid and stuff. And so then they show um this doctor guy named Will Bickran, played by Neil McDowell, and stuff. And Claire is having these nightmares, seeing seeing these creatures and stuff. And stuff like zombies and everything and stuff. And then it cuts to when she's grown years later, she's grown in a in a truck with she got um, a ride from this guy. And so this guy wanted to hit this woman and stuff. And so the guy, the other woman that she was um, bitten by one of the creatures and stuff, the zombie went, went off. And so and then it cuts to um, to this restaurant. So you see um, Jill Valentine, played by Hannah John Klugman and stuff, and some other people like, and stuff like Leon, Leon Risker and stuff that all. Um, just there at a restaurant and stuff, and there and Jill do something. And so then this one cop guy comes in and stuff. And as he talks to this one dude and stuff who's actually um, been transferred and stuff and everything. And um, yeah, they got Leon and stuff. Yeah, Leon and stuff, and Risker and everything. And so they actually cops, and Jill Valentine's a cop. And, Chris Redford is a cop, a detective. They started in a boss and stuff. Tony had to go out and do some stuff. Go to the Spencer Mansion and stuff. And when they get and when they show when they get there and stuff, and so nobody there. And so I see all these other people are dead. And so and so then they get there, they see this one um zombie creature was biting on somebody. And so they shoot. So this movie got a lot of violence in it, and it's scary. This movie's very scary. This Resident Evil movie, I actually really like this movie a lot. And I thought all the performances in this movie was great and stuff. And so, and while Claire stuff, and so they show her again, she went back to, when she was in her brother's house and stuff, looking at things, and started showing the video of this, um, this guy, and started talking about Raccoon City being destroyed, and started turning on one of the guys down in the with, um, Leon went down there later and saw the door. I'm going to too much spoilers into the film, but it started, he was down there. It stopped shooting all these zombies and stuff with these creatures and everything was great and stuff in every possible way. This film and stuff. There's also a mid credit scene at the end of this movie. Definitely stay for that and stuff and everything. Yeah, I, I had a blast watching this movie in the theater. It was so great. Scary, crazy, a lot of violence and everything in a possible way and stuff. And then we so said, after watching this film, I want to see more. I want to see a sequel and stuff and everything. And so definitely check out Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City in theaters this weekend over the Thanksgiving holiday. It's great. And everything and stuff. I give Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City a nine out of seven. Great film, violent, scary, crazy. All the performance is great. Hannah John Klugman as Gerald Valentine was badass in this movie. It's one of the best video game films I've ever seen and everything. So that's my review for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. All right, bye.